Look at all this loot! DJ, none for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and this is the third time I've tried to film this video. First time the audio was too bad to be used, then the video was too bad to be used. And, uh, hopefully I'll get it right this time. Um, this is a review. I was sent a couple of items by Marmot Tactical on, um, Amazon. Link, of course, down in the description to all of their stuff. And they sent me two items to do a review on that are, uh, well, fairly nifty. We, of course, have first up this tactical vest. It's... A fairly straightforward tactical vest. Not as modular as I was genuinely or generally prefer, but it does have some nice features. Uh, the inside is mesh, which makes it breathe nicely, and it is padded, which makes it quite comfortable. And it is actually arguably a plate carrier. It does have pouches on the uh, inside between the layers. These ones zip open, that one's uh, Velcro open. And you could put plates in them, though the style of the vest and how light the construction is. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing anything above, like, um, stab plates, rigid plastic plates, as opposed to ceramic or metal plates. I don't think it would hold up well to that. Um, or Kevlar plates would obviously be fine as well, soft plates. Um, you could also use it for putting cooling plates in, because, oddly, the, the plate area does not cover the chest, where your heart and lungs are. So that's kind of odd. But, um, cooling plates, you, know, you can get um, basically a soft gel plate that you then put into your vest, and it keeps you cool, and they're really, really nice. I got to... Um, use one of those when I was Smokey Bear back in the day. There's another thing you probably didn't know about me. But it zips open, which is nice because it makes it easy to put on and off. Train! Trains are cool. Anyway, it zips up the front, which is nice because it makes it easy to get on and off. Um, uh, zippers are not designed to be. There we go. Uh, and it does come with a belt, which I actually really appreciate because it, it and they, they connect using Velcro loops and straps around the outside. Uh, but you can take it off and just have yourself a nice battle belt that you have your leg rigs and your dump pouch or whatever else you want on there. Uh, or you can leave it attached, which makes it easy to put the whole rig on and off. Um, so that's really nice. And it's a solid buckle. Let's talk about pouches, because it does come with all of these pouches. And some of them are removable and some of them aren't. And that's where the, the not as modular as I would like comes in. The only molly on it is right here on the small of the back, which would allow you to have extra mag pouches or a, a large pouch or a, a camelback or something back there. So that's nice. And then a big Velcro swatch for putting your name tag or you, know, you could probably, you could get three club patches or whatever you wanted on that. Um, it does have a, you know, a carry handle. As it were, drag your buddy out handle. Um, D-rings on the shoulders for hooking your slings to. And it is very adjustable. So I was able to adjust it up to my size, which does leave a gap on the side, but um, it will fit me. It, 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 would, I, it would actually go a little, quite a bit farther. So um, it'll fit a fairly large person. It does also have adjustable straps on the shoulders to get that to fit properly. And that's pretty nice. But let's talk about the patches on the front. The ones on this side, the right side, are permanently attached. The mag, large mag pouches and this pouch do not come off. Uh, this um, looks like shotgun shell loops. They're a little big for regular darts and probably too small for mega darts, but you could put like, I don't know, um, Busby shells in there. Maybe spring thunder shells. They're probably gonna be probably small for that. Still trains. Honk. But it is velcroed off so you can just take that off. You're killing me. You're killing me with the trains. That one must be a passenger train. Much quieter. Anyway, um, this top pouch, just a small utility pouch. You could put maps or a med kit or um, you could put darts if you really felt like it. Um, it's got a bit of Velcro on the inside, which is, I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm sure you could find a use for it. It does then have the patch there for your name tag and whatnot or for this if you want. You may just have to come to deal with the trains. Um, there are then magazine holders, and they will hold two regular Nerf magazines fairly well. It's a real tight fit because of the elastic that they have on there. Um, it, it, you gotta mean it to get them in there. So, got train. Um, I would highly recommend if you're going to use this to take out the seam right here between these elastic straps so that it's much 
less restrictive. It will hold one very easily, obviously. Um, but getting them out, they come out easier than they go in. Um, and yeah, so there's three of those. That is not removable. That is just sewn on. So that's, yeah, not great. The other thing that I don't terribly love about it is, you know, for me personally, is that it's decidedly right-handed. The uh, shoulder pad here that has the gripping to hold your, your stock a little bit better and has a little bit extra padding is only on the right side. And on the left side, there's a pouch that would get in the way, uh, and these pouches would get in the way of shouldering a blaster on that side. So not a good choice for lefties, but there aren't as many of us, so nobody... Nobody panders to us, but little pouch right here. You can do any number of things with it. Your radio or you know, snacks or some extra ammo, who knows? It, it looks like they're meant for cuffs, maybe. Uh, but then let's get down to the ones that actually, uh, what? there's one more that isn't removable and that's this side one, which also will fit a regular magazine quite nicely. This one, the elastic isn't as much of a problem, though it is, yeah, that one's fine. Uh, but it's more for like radio or your phone or a water bottle, something on that side, which is nice. And then we get to the ones that actually are removable. So these two items are removable. You have a pistol magazine holder. And it fits them, um, half dart mags absolutely beautifully. At least these pecker mags and it would probably hold talons uh, or katanas beautifully. I don't know about talons because um, I know I understand they're a little bit wider. And this is a real, real perfect fit. So, couldn't tell you, I don't know where my one uh, Talon mag is. It's in the mountain of stuff. But um, that is nice because it does come off. Uh, Velcro's off. And so, if you had Velcro on another vest or uh, on one of the panels that turns, you know, that's Molly on one side and Velcro on the other, uh, you'd be able to attach this to whatever you wanted. And that would be real handy. Um, next one is the pistol holster, which is also um, velcroed on, and then it also has a couple of straps that hold it on for reasons I'm not entirely sure about. Uh, but it allows you to adjust it to put it at whatever angle you want, and it is a really nice size. So it does fit the double strike. It's actually a little big for the double strike, but it will fit, and it will also fit the four victory absolutely beautifully. So anything that's roughly in between those, are gonna fit. Anything bigger than this isn't. It won't fit the hammer shot or the sweet revenge or anything like that. Um, so, but you know, use some common sense. If it'll fit this, what it'll fit just about anything roughly that size. The other one that it does fit and it makes me so very, very happy is it will in fact beautifully fit my Viper. Or yeah, absolute beautiful fit there. So I will be having to figure out what, how to um, take this holster and put it on other things because it is it is exactly the right size for that and I am well pleased with that so definitely need to do a, a video on that one so yeah that's all of the pouches on this it's 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 a decent vest for for the price and because it's Amazon you know real quick shipping and all of that uh, that comes with that so the link for that will be down in the description if you're looking for a cheap vest this one isn't a bad option because it does come with a variety of different pouches so if you have you know a loadout that's regular mags and half mags well there you go you've got both of them covered uh, if you have a pistol that fits that size again there you go so yeah it it's definitely got a lot of utility because you could you know put loose or even you know additional cylinders in here or an additional cylinder in there or lots of different options um, if you're going with an all pistol loadout these will fit sweet or uh, four victories as well they're a little too small for hammer shots unfortunately i was hoping they would fit those but they won't. This one would probably also fit. Well, that one's actually a little small for that, but you could get another one. So yeah, it wouldn't make a bad uh, pistol loadout vest, honestly. So there you go. Uh, put that aside and take a look at the other item. And this is the one I'm actually, honestly, more excited about. They sent me a tactical flashlight. And it's actually really, really nice. So, um... One of the things I really like is it comes with all the bells and whistles. It is, it, it uses um, 18650 rechargeable batteries, which are a large battery, larger than a double A. And not only does it come with two, when the flashlight only takes one, so they send you a spare battery, they give you the charger as well, and which is nice because I didn't have an 18650 charger, so that's very handy. It then also does come with your mount 
It's an offset mount that connects to Picatinny rail, so if you have it on the top, uh, it's not going to get in the way of your sights. You can have it going down, going up, going off to either side, however you want to attach it. Um, lots and lots of options. Comes with a tool to loosen and tighten it, uh, and it actually will fit in there to let you really get that down tight. Won't fit on Nerf rail, but it will fit on Picatinny rail, and an awful lot of what we use these days is uh, Picatinny. And then we have the, the flashlight itself, of course. Um, fairly standard black flashlight, back end screws off. Put your battery in, and I can never remember which way it goes. And there you have it. And it is a, a very bright LED flashlight. I like that. It's lighting up my, my whole shop quite well. And uh, yeah, it's LED, like I said, so it will last forever. The bulb's not gonna get, not gonna burn out anytime soon. Um, it does, it's only on off. It doesn't have a strobe feature, which is nice because um, most groups won't allow any kind of a strobing flashlight, nor should they. But the other feature that it comes with that I really, really like, and this is where the, the tactical part comes in, is it has a different back that you can um, screw on that then gives you the, the momentary button where when you, you push right here, it just turns the flashlight on. And I mean, you could use that to strobe, but that's mean. Uh, but if you're, you're doing stuff where you want to be able to turn the light on very briefly and then turn it back off again so that you can, you know, aren't lighting yourself up easily and making yourself a really obvious target or at least be able to turn it back off again and, and, and move, that's neat. But what it also has that I hadn't seen, my the one that I have on Ayer, and I only have the one that has one of these switches, is it also then has a button that is just permanently on. So you can just turn it on and leave it on if you if you need it for, for whatever reason, uh, and you don't want to have to you know hold that button down. They have just an on. And I'm sure that's perfectly standard on most of these things nowadays, but I hadn't seen one before, so I thought it was pretty nifty. So I thought it was neat that it comes with all of those options, and especially nice that they send you two batteries and the charger all built in, all together, everything you need. So this will definitely be getting added to one of my primaries. I don't know which one. Um, I've got a number of blasters that I could definitely use with a flashlight, the, the sort of ones that I use for night games and whatnot. So, yeah. I am well pleased with those two items. Uh, I will be doing one more of their items in the near future. I need to order one more um, to make up for the fact that it took me like a month and a half to get this review out because of all of the aforementioned problems. But there you have it, Marmot Tactical on Amazon. I will have the links in the description below. And thank you so much for the stuff.